connection with students from many countries and teaches children of all ages the demonstration lessons of teachers and coaches. Please welcome Professor Olin Kapila. out in cyberspace somewhere, and I'm sure that it is in the process of being established. There we go. Okay. Thank you very much. And can I just give you this signal that you can flip to the next slide, please? Okay. So many of you may recognize me because I've also participated in Mother Language Day every year. I'm also a member of the UNESCO's a lingual packs organization that has 16 people from around the world supporting uh, the preservation and development of languages around the world. So this year I thought we'd do this as a game show. And here we go. Here are the rules. Listen to the questions, choose an answer, keep score, and there might even be surprises at the end. So, question number one. Today is Mother Language Day. Who declared this day? And when? Yes. Oh, very good. What was the year? Which is? <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one. It isn't, so you've got one point. Anyone else who thought that and remembered that, you've got one point. <laughs> so it is, in fact, it was declared in November 1999 by UNESCO, but the first Mother Language Day was celebrated in the year 2000. Okay, question number two. Why do we celebrate Mother Language Day? Yes. So you don't lose your language, that's one good reason. Any other reasons? There are four, yes. So they know how languages work and we can use them all over the world. Good, yes, at the back. So that we can have better understanding because we know more languages. Good, yes. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Well, let's look at the four official reasons. First, to celebrate cultural and linguistic diversity. Second, to remain aware of the risks of language loss around the world. Third, to acknowledge and protect the place of languages in society. 